Meet the Halo Link 1. It's a best-in-class evaluation platform allowing you to exercise Wi-Fi Halo's range, throughput, and low power. The hardware is robust, the user interface is intuitive, and it will simplify the setup of a Wi-Fi Halo network. Fully certified, plug and play, ready for use in the US, Canada, and Australia. It's best suited for innovators, integrators, developers, and OEMs. In short, the Halo Link 1 is your fastest path to building scalable and intelligent Wi-Fi Halo networks. Let's unbox it, set it up, and show you how to get started. Inside the box, you get the Halo Link 1 itself. Small and compact. It has two Ethernet ports, USB-C for power, and an antenna connector. On the side of the unit, there's also the mode button, useful for resetting the device and configuring the mode. Most important is what's inside the Halo Link 1, and that's Morse Micro's Wi-Fi Halo Silicon, the world's first certified chip for this standard. It's designed to connect sensors, cameras, and other IoT devices over long distances with low power and high security. Also in the box, you get your quick start guide to explain where to go if you get stuck, a base for holding the device upright, an antenna for use with the Wi-Fi Halo network, and an array of cables you need to connect it to your network infrastructure, such as network cables and the power supply. Setup is straightforward. Antenna in, base on, and power in. If you're using this at home, you can use the ethernet cable to plug it into the rest of your network. Once powered on, the lights will flash from yellow to green, and eventually the halo line will start blinking purple. So once the halo light is blinking purple, the Wi-Fi halo access point is ready to go. But of course, we need a client device. And the easiest one to use is another Halo Link 1. So we can set this up as an extender. Again, antenna in. And I don't really feel like putting the base on this one. You don't need to. Power in. This will also boot with the same sequence. So once the device has booted and the Halo light is blinking purple, to put it into extender mode, we can press and hold the mode button until the status light turns aqua. Once aqua, you can release the mode button and the device will reboot and put itself into the mode we want. So we can confirm it's in extender mode with the status light now solid aqua. Um, and that's it, it's set up and ready to go. Of course, now we need to pair the devices. So to pair them, we can press the mode button once on each device. The device's halo lights will then start blinking purple and eventually they will go solid to indicate that they are connected. So that's it. They should now be connected and talking. Before we show the Halo Link 1 in action, let's quickly run through some more of advanced configuration. I've taken the access point and plugged it directly into my laptop with the USB-C cable provided which also doubles up as an Ethernet connection. Once connected, I can navigate to the configuration page of the access point by typing 192.168.12.1 into my web browser and logging in as shown. The password for the device is provided on the sticker. For login to the configuration page, you want to be using the device password. So we type that into the box and log in. On this page, we're presented with status information of everything you need to know about your device that includes uplink status uh, which is currently disconnected the local network and connected devices uh, you've also got access to the quick config and in this page you can make quick adjustments to your network such as changing the ip address or reconfiguring your radios optionally you can use the wizards to reconfigure the device as whole with a couple of button clicks uh, that's mesh modes and uh, ups, uplink modes as well. Most importantly, there's also the upgrade page. 
Uh, this is where you can automatically check for upgrades when your device has an internet connection or alternatively manually upload uh, a new image provided by Morse Micro. So why would you want Halo? Halo is most suited for getting access and connectivity to hard to reach places. This might be a garage or shed in your backyard on a large property. It might be meters or devices underground. Um, regardless, the Halo Leaf 1 is your shortcut, surefire way to get Halo deployed in your environment today. You might also want to use it in a large warehouse. We apparently got lots of APs all meshed together. You can simplify that network. You can reduce it to a single AP and cover more area. But where Halo and the Halo Link 1 shines the most is in bridging legacy devices. Maybe you've got an existing Ethernet or 2.4 gigahertz camera that you want to place at a distance away from the rest of your infrastructure. Um, let's see that in action right now. I can log into my Halo Link 1 AP by navigating to the web, web address and I can see my Halo Link 1 extender is connected. Uh, I can also see the, the DHCP lease of the camera in the list provided. And so I can navigate to that device and access its web UI so I can view the stream. This gives me the opportunity to configure devices remotely, control them as needed, or even perform firmware upgrades at distance. It's the Halo Link 1 from Morse Micro, the fastest path to building scalable and intelligent networks with Wi-Fi Halo. If you ever get stuck, scan the QR code on the Quick Start Guide, or head to our website for full documentation. Alternatively, look out for a Halo Link 1 troubleshooting video. If you're building next-gen Wi-Fi Halo-based devices, visit us on the community forum, where you'll get support from yours truly.